Welcome to Bears and XL. Today is November 6th, and this is the market overview. Looking at the Dow, SPX, VIX, TNA, UUP, FXE, GLD, and SLV. Okie dokie. Well, as always, an interesting day on Friday. Ended up uh, starting out way low. It was very encouraging. And then news came out about uh, the Greek Prime Minister stepping down... Uh, new government and acceptance of the uh, bailout funds, which uh, then after hours was brought into question once again. And uh, we're waiting for whatever news is coming. Maybe we'll have it tomorrow. But uh, regardless, we ended Friday with a hammer. So the question becomes, is this a new lower top as opposed to just uh, from a week ago. Obviously that will be uh, dependent upon the news that comes out on Monday. But uh, we have the short-term moving averages pointing up. We have the middle Bollinger Band eh, below the halfway point of the short-term moving averages, but it appears to be rising. And uh, if we get a down move, perhaps we will get the uh, middle Bollinger Band above the short-term moving averages and help drag them down. Still too early, but uh, it'll be interesting. Um, close above the 200-day moving average, very uh, good. We need a uh, solid green candle above it to uh, show that it actually intends on being there. Uh, you can see from before we had popped above it, we had a uh, not a strong candle, and it went right back below it. So um, got to see what happens. Uh, down tick on the CCI, side tick on the slow stochastic, up tick on the fast stochastic, up tick on the RSI, slight down tick on the MACD, down tick on the MACD histogram. So we do have some conflicting signals, and certainly this is not a done deal for the bulls. Matter of fact, you can make a really good argument for the uh, bullish side or the bearish side at this moment. Um, and then the all important 14 day RSI. We said we've been looking for the hook. We still do not have the hook. Moving along to the SPX, also a hammer. Do not have as many short-term moving averages pointing up as we do on the Dow. We notice that the middle Bollinger Band is directly in the middle of the short-term moving averages. It needs to choose a side. And, um, of course, below the 200-day moving average, um, down tick on the CCI, side tick on the uh, slow stochastic, up tick on the fast stochastic, looking for the hook on the 14 day RSI moving average, up tick on the RSI, down tick on the histogram, and uh, about to get the bearish cross possibly on the MACD. So, like I was saying before, uh, argument could be made for the bulls or the bears at this moment. Going on to the VIX. Okay, we need some tells because uh, it could go either way in the uh, main indexes. The VIX ended with a fat body inverse hammer, which is bearish engulfing the previous real body from Thursday. Not a not a good thing. So you, I mean, the bulls have that in their favor. However, we have the middle Bollinger Band below the short-term moving averages and we are below the major price consensus level, but we are also above the psychologically important 30 mark. Not by much, 16 cents, but uh, regardless, uh, that's good. We're also above the 200-day moving average, and we're saying that as long as it would hold above the 200-day moving average when the move up was finished, that would be a good sign for the bears. And uh, for the moment, that is holding nicely. Down tick on the CCI, down ticks on the stochastics, looking for the hook on the 14 day RSI moving average, down tick on the RSI, slight down tick on the histogram, up tick on the MACD. Mm. So many conflicting signals, and um, this actually does not give us a very good tell. Uh, we have the long term moving averages in a flat line. We have the short-term moving averages almost in the flat line. Um, we do not like double flat lines. 
and if I blow it way up then it doesn't look so bad but uh, still all news driven TNA 48 to 12 not not too shabby from a guppy perspective it doesn't look bad uh, we came through the bar got above it came back for a kiss and bounced off that is a very good looking uh, pattern we have the middle Bollinger band below the short-term moving averages short-term moving averages are pointing up we do have a bearish bar still uh, somewhat in effect but it is collapsing uh, down tick on the CCI upticks on the stochastics uptick on 14 day RSI moving average uptick on the RSI slight down tick on the histogram and a side tick on the MACD I would think that if we get the breakout on the Dow and SPX, that this will be a uh, a very good chart in the days to come. But of course, if we do break down on the Dow and the SPX, this one will fall apart uh, very quickly. So um, definitely bullish, uh, biased on TNA, but uh, waiting on Euroland. UUP, most important chart out there. We said that when the move is complete, if it's above the 200 day moving average, um, that's going to be really good for the bears. At the moment, we are still holding above the 200 day moving average. We did end with an inverse hammer, uh, which um, followed the Thursday gigantic, messy inverse hammer. Short-term moving averages are pointing up. The bullish bar still has, well, very little of its formation left, but uh, still, it is not in a true flat line as of yet. It is close, but not quite. Uptick on the CCI, uptick on the fast, uh, slow stochastic, downtick on the fast stochastic. Um, looking for the hook on the 14-day RSI moving average, downtick on the RSI, uptick on the histogram uptick on the MACD getting the bullish cross 200 day moving average very important and also we have the middle Bollinger Band below the short term moving averages so this chart is more uh, bearish for the market than uh, some of the other charts that we're looking at so that is very interesting notice that we did almost touch the major price consensus level on Friday and backed away from it FXE the euro. Okay, we ended with a little doji star looking thing on Friday. We did get below the major price consensus level and backed away from it. Uh, we have the short term moving averages pointing down. We have the bearish bar almost completely gone. Middle Bollinger Band above the short term moving averages. And a down tick on the CCI, down tick on the uh, slow stochastic uptick on the fast stochastic looking for the hook of the 14 day RSI moving average uptick on the RSI down tick on the histogram down tick on the MACD getting a bearish cross hmm a failure right here against the collapsing bearish bar would be uh, rather poor for the market but uh, uh, you know that guy was supposed to step down he hasn't stepped down yet now they're saying over the weekend that yeah he's going to do it but nobody really knows um, there's still the questions of is it going to form a new government or not we still don't know and Sunday there was news that uh, they're going to take austerity measures in France to maintain its triple A credit status now if that is true then the euro should get a bounce regardless of what uh, Greece does in which case uh, these bearish indications are going to have to wait but uh, since it's the weekend we have to wait as well GLD our second VIX into a little doji uh, short-term moving averages pointing up middle Bollinger Band below the short-term moving averages we're above the upper price consensus level did come through the long-term bar which is a flat line came back for a kiss and bounced off that is a standard guppy entry uh, which we have talked about in the previous videos 
down tick on the CCI, up ticks on the stochastic, uptick on the 14 day RSI moving average, lots of room to move. Side tick on the RSI, slight down tick on the histogram, uptick on the MACD. So if, um, if we do get a move up in the euro on Monday due to uh, positive news, the uh, dollar will go down, gold should go up, and uh, but we also have the balancing factor of it being the second VIX with um, uncertainty. So it'll be interesting to watch and see what the news does to the price of gold. Is uncertainty actually rising with the news, or um, is this going to fall apart? Just don't know. Just don't know. SLV, not as strong as gold, ended with a little miniature spinning top. All but one of the short-term moving averages is pointing up. Middle Bollinger Band below the short-term moving averages. We are above the upper price consensus level. We are below the 200-day moving average still. As we work on the bar, down tick on the CCI, down tick on the slow stochastic, up tick on the fast stochastic, up tick on the 14-day RSI moving average. Not as much room to move as gold. Slight down tick move on the RSI, down tick on the histogram, and a, uh, what is that? Slight uptick on the MACD. Well, there you have it. There's, uh, once again, we're at a critical juncture. Seems to be the uh, order of the day now for uh, many times over the past two months, where we move a little bit, and then it's decision time, then we move a little bit, and it's decision time. Well back at decision time so um, good luck to everybody as always all investing decisions are your own this chart and video are for entertainment educational and consumption of time purposes only thank you